Hey guys, how's it going? Richard with Beck Tools. And uh, if you've been following along the uh, testing I've been doing with my Lingmer Systems MR1, uh, the steel parts we've been running, I started having this feeling, which was confirmed the other day when I had an aluminum part and I punched 81 holes in this aluminum part. And it was coming down and right when it would break through the bottom, I could see it lurch forward. Which made me believe there's a lot of backlash in my Z-axis screw. Now, if the Z-axis screw is loose, that would totally make sense why we had so much chatter when we were trying to machine that steel part. So, is what I did. I got an indicator here, and that's on my Z-axis. And uh, I've got a little one, two, three block. And I'm just gonna, you know, push down. Not very much. A little bit of pressure so uh, I can't get it to focus okay there we go can you see that so that's that's the problem um I'm going to get a hold of Langmire, see if if they can get me a new Z-axis screw, or maybe I just upgrade to a ball screw. Part of me believes they used a lead screw on the Z because it can handle more uh, force. I don't know that to be true. Uh, let me know in the comments if you are an expert in that. If I chose to go my own route, I would have to get a custom-made screw or I would have to machine the ends, which I have a lathe, so I could machine the ends if, if that is really what's needed. But I don't know, I'm kind of in a hurry right now, but that, can you hear that? So yeah. Pretty sure that's one of the main culprits for the chatter uh, in the steel parts. So we're gonna get that taken care of and then we're gonna get back to machining some steel. Oh, almost forgot. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you have a friend that might find this helpful, share the video with them. Leave me a comment in the comment section below because I always read them. I don't always reply if you're kind of a douche or if I just don't have an answer. Sometimes you guys are just way smarter than me and I don't have an answer. I guess I should just, I'll, in that case, I'll just heart it because uh, I don't know. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.